Friday night programming is made possible on MPT by Video Mania. Full service video centers featuring free lifetime membership and a wide selection of newly released and old favorite videos. Some people hustle pool, some people hustle cars. But have you ever heard about the man who hustles stars? Jack Horkheimer, star hustler, director of the Miami Space Transit Planetarium. Our episode for this week, Monday, September 10th through Sunday, September 16th, is How to Spot Mercury During Its Best Appearance of 1990. And now here to tell you all about tonight's sky and the biggest show of all, the universe, your star hustler, Jack Horkheimer. Greetings, greetings, fellow stargazers. And you know, because the tiny 3,000-mile-wide planet Mercury is only 1,000 miles wider than our moon, and because it is the closest planet to the sun, it is said to be the most difficult of all the naked eye planets to find. In fact, tradition has it that the great astronomer Copernicus never saw it in his entire life, although I find that extremely difficult to believe. But Mercury is indeed one of those sky goodies that every amateur astronomer looks for because it never gets very far away from the sun, which means that we never, ever get to see it in really dark skies. Oh, don't get me wrong. It's in the sky almost every single bright day. But that's the problem. The sun's light is so bright that it washes it out. But toward the end of this month, on the 24th, Mercury will reach its greatest distance from the sun as seen from our planet Earth. So, for two weeks, it will be far enough away from the sun to see. But you're still going to have to have a very, very flat horizon. No buildings, no trees in the way. And to locate it, we're going to look for some old friends for signposts. And don't worry if you don't spot it the first couple of times you're out. Because the closer we come to Monday morning, September 24th, the higher Mercury will be in the heavens. In fact, let me show you exactly how dramatically Mercury rises and then falls in the heavens from September 12th to October 12th. Indeed, you can see how rapidly Mercury rushes on stage and just as rapidly rushes off with its best appearance between the 22nd and the 26th. So, come on, Mercury watchers, let's begin our Mercury hunt Saturday morning, September 15th, about 30 to 40 minutes before sunrise, looking almost due east. Simply go outside and look for an extremely bright object about halfway up the eastern sky, and that will be the brilliant planet Jupiter, and just underneath it, a beautiful slender crescent moon. Then below both Jupiter and the crescent moon, a bluish star the star called Regulus in Leo the Lion, and very close to the horizon, dazzling brilliantly in the early morning twilight, incredibly brilliant Venus. And just to the right of Venus, dim, dainty, pinkish Mercury. Now, if you go out the next morning, the 16th at the same time, about 30 to 40 minutes before the sun rises, that is during twilight, you'll see that the moon has moved down and away from Jupiter, while Mercury has moved slightly up and away from Venus. Then, on Monday morning the 17th, Mercury will be almost directly between a very slender old crescent moon and Venus. Then, morning after morning, you'll see Mercury rise higher and higher in the heavens, so that by the 24th, it will be about 10 to 12 degrees above the eastern horizon, shining brighter than any neighboring star. But start your watching the weekend of the 15th, because Venus, our Mercury finder, will be gone by the 24th. So, out under the early morning, heavens with you to hunt for the most elusive naked eye planet of them all. And out Copernicus, Copernicus, if you can. And to do that, remember, just keep 
Star Hustler is made possible by the P.L. Dodge Foundation, the Abraham Schwartz Estate, the Rosenberg Foundation, and the patrons of the Miami Museum of Science and Space Transit Planetarium. This is MPT, my public TV. It's time now for WMPT and WFPT to conclude another broadcast day. WMPT is located in Annapolis, Maryland, and operates under the authority of the Federal Communications Commission on UHF Channel 22. WFPT is located in Frederick, Maryland, and operates under Federal Communications Commission authority on UHF Channel 62. Both Channel 22 and 62 are owned and operated by the Maryland Public Broadcasting Commission. We hope you've enjoyed today's programming. Please join us again tomorrow. For now, on behalf of the management and staff here at MPT, we bid you a pleasant good night.